it's a very chill Sunday here in South Carolina. It's Annette Green here. Uh, it is week 18 in 2024 and every week I do a crafty or craft related video and today it's all about one mini album different ways and then a little update on my Etsy shop. Okay so last week I did a planner page and I said you know what do you do with all those extra photos that you took because we went on a little trip we had tons of photos and so I showed you this little album which is also in my Etsy shop, a tutorial for this. So we'll get to all the Etsy stuff in just a bit. Uh, but I thought that for week 18, I would show you, because I have two of these albums, I'm gonna show you the one that I actually did fill because you know, we love our mini albums, we make them, but do we, do we put pictures in them? Be honest, do you? Uh, and I do wanna say, if you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Uh, yeah, last week I was showing this and um, we, I have spent the week filling it up, actually putting pictures in it, actually journaling. It didn't take long at all, um, but this album is one that you'll see. I'm going to show you. I've made it two more times with two different completely paper, completely different papers. Um, it doesn't matter what paper. This happens to be my new collection, the Harmonious HodgePodge paper for Elizabeth Craft Designs but you can really use the tutorial and any paper that you have. All right, so a little quick run through. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time, but I will just show you that I had so many photos. This was a great album for this because I added some little flip flap page protectors here at the beginning because I had so many more after filling this part. And then I added some more in the back here. These are from Close to My Heart. And you know, Close to My Heart is going out of business as we most of us should know by now. Um, so just stay tuned because there might be some coming your way from a different company that I am affiliated with. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Anywho, we have pictures. We have more pictures on the back of the little journaling card. We have pockets. We have a tag on each page that I have put a photo on both sides of the tag. The tags come out of the top of this nicely constructed album. And then we have the side pullouts that I also put photos on both sides. So this was our trip to the Biltmore Estate a um, couple weeks ago. And like I said, today I just sat down and powered through and printed out all my photos in Photoshop Elements. Uh, I have a Pixma, Canon Pixma TR8620 printer. So it's very easy for me to just measure and size and print these out on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Uh, I will, if I remember, I will link to the video where I have shown how I do that, how I print my own photos at home using my stuff. So you can see here, there's not a lot of, you know, fancy embellishment because the paper is super pretty, but I wanted the photos to kind of speak for themselves and they certainly do the gardens, florals everything was so pretty in the spring and the tutorial for this album is so incredibly easy uh, that's why I made two more albums because and at this point I can do it in my sleep it's so easy but you can see these nice little journaling cards that's part of my paper collection too um, and of course this is the die from my new release uh, as I know now the Etsy listing for this album tutorial does not list all the things that you would need, basically because I want people to use it with any paper that they have. So if you want to do it exactly like this and use all the same things, then I will link to the promotional video for this particular mini album in this paper. So um, at the beginning of that video, I explain what I used, how much I used, what you need in the way of cardstock and chipboard and all that good stuff. So some of these pages on the left have photos, some just, mm, that one I even covered up some pretty stuff. I think they all pretty much have photos. Did I show you this one yet? I don't remember. <laughs> I think I just did. Okay, sorry. Okay, then we got our little bowling alley and the swimming pool. Uh, the Biltmore was pretty fascinating. If you have not been, 
uh, it is definitely worth a trip to go and take that tour. It's very interesting. It's just an, a phenomenal, beautiful estate. And the gardens, honestly, were our favorite part. It was just so beautiful in the spring, like I said, in the greenhouse and everything. So again, here's more of those flip flaps and a little more journaling. Okay, so the one you saw a moment ago, uh, this is just a plain one. I used this one to do the online class. And then this is the one that I showed how I added the Biltmore to the spine. So now when it's on the bookshelf, it's easy to identify. Uh, not sure what I'll do with this one yet. We'll just kind of wait and see. But I wanted to show you two more that I made with different paper. Let's take a look at this one first. This is Graphic 45 paper. This is brand new. I mean, so, so new. I jumped on it as soon as I could. Sunshine on my mind. And it's all, you can see, it's all cut apart here. But it is very, this is like if you were going to do a summer planner or a summer album, this would be great for that. It's very summery with all the watermelons and the fruit and the florals. I mean, it's super cute, right? And I followed my own directions and I just sort of slightly altered things accordingly, you know? So the measures are pretty much the same, but you know, sometimes you might want to do a little something here. So, um, you know, if you're going to use different paper than the Harmonious HodgePodge to make yours, just kind of keep in mind, um, you know, your plan and what you're using and be flexible. But yeah, this is super fun. And so I'll show you what I did use to make this one in case you wanted to make one just like it. And so I'm doing my little flip through so you can see every little page. So if you came back to watch this video again and you had this paper, then you could kind of mimic what I've done if you like. But, you know, it's pretty simple. And you can tell that I have eliminated the pockets on the fronts. So each time I made the album, I did it just a little different. So no pockets here on this right-hand page. They may eventually be there, but they aren't there for now. And I also added a little strip of this same paper in between instead of the big white uh, space between the pages just an option just to be different so I haven't done anything to the backs of course but these little guys are the same front and back just so cute that paper I love it and of course you know you see me pulling out all these tags you could definitely make your own tags I have used Esther's die from Elizabeth Craft Designs um, I'll link it below uh, for these toppers and to actually cut the tags but you get the gist here. And I'll show you some other things that I used because now I see I did use some of the, the die cut assortment and I used a little bit of the chipboard on the front. Super duper fun, super easy. One more page here. These fun little journaling kind of things are on one of the papers in the 12 by 12 collection. You could even cut like a circle, half circle notch if you wanted to out of the top of the pocket. I'm sure if I make this one more time, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I use different ribbon, of course. And then there's some more of those die cut assortments. Okay, so what did I use to make this one exactly? I already mentioned Sunshine on My Mind. I used the 12 by 12 paper collection as well as, because you really kind of need some patterns and solids, uh, the same collection in the patterns and solids. Okay, uh, I did purchase, but didn't use their brand new rub-ons. Ooh, you could embellish later with those. Those are cute. But I use the, what do they call these? Ephemera Assortment. So they're like, hmm, not chipboard thick, cardstock thick. And they're beautiful. You can see all the pieces there. And then I used just for some of this, like this frame here and this here, I used the chipboard tags and frames. So there's a ton of stuff left in that one. I also purchased their sticker set, which I did not use. But again, once I start putting photos and things in here, that's when I would start to use those little embellishment items. Okay, and this one is not done yet, but I thought I would share it anyway. And, and so next week's video is going to be about flower making. And I'm going to do the front of this album and um, 
maybe by then I'll have this finished and some more things inside. But I thought I would share this with you. This is made with Evening Rose. This is Angelica Turner's new paper collection for Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, if I can, I'll link it below. I'm not sure. It may just be in stores for now, but when it's available on the ECD website, I will definitely put my Shopify link so you can get your 10% off. Uh, so this is a 12 by 12 paper pack and I didn't even use the whole thing, of course, to make this whole album. Okay, we'll take a quick spin through, different ribbon. And also, I didn't mention, you see how the tutorial will show the paper that's on the front and even on the inside does not go out to the edge of the chipboard, right? You have this white kind of creamy border of your chipboard covers showing all the way around. Uh, I did change that when I went to make this one and the paper goes all the way out to the edge. It's just totally up to you if you want to do that or not. And that's why I say the directions are there, but you know, think outside the box and think, do I want my paper to go all the way out? Cause that does look kind of nice. So that's what I did here. Went all the way out to the edge. And then on the inside, I didn't. And I didn't even do the big piece of paper that goes across. I just did one here and then one here and then I used a whole different color cardstock to make this album. This is sort of a gold, kind of creamy, buttery yellow. Uh, but I used my border dye here on some of these pages just to be a little different. And I still made the tags, but this time I made the tags all the same, minus the toppers. So can you see them? Yeah. All the tags have the same exact paper and border and the topper is the only thing that's different. Again, that comes from Esther's tag die set. So there's all those, same. And then all my little pullouts come from the same piece of paper as well. There's actually two sheets of paper that have this very soft blue print to them. So just for uniformity, these are all pretty much the same. And I put them on a nice kind of periwinkle blue that matches this paper collection. Really nice, this cardstock. So, of course, different ribbon. Still does the stair step thing. We still have the top loading pockets. I didn't put the little half pockets on this one uh, yet. Don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, but this is how it looks. And this is beautiful paper. I, I feel like this would make a beautiful baby album. I can definitely see that. So perhaps that's what will happen with mine down the road. Who knows? Okay, as I'm getting this last bit in here, uh, I will link this. I will just link my Etsy shop below because that's where this is and much more, which is what I'm about to show you. But I will just reiterate that I am going to use some of the new floral dyes from Elizabeth Craft Designs, probably florals 28, maybe a little bit of 27, and then this one is the Floral Greenery 2 set, which I'm definitely gonna use some of that baby's breath on my cover. And maybe we'll make some other stuff with flowers too next week. Okay, so what else is in my Etsy shop? And the reason why I'm doing this is because I have a lot of new followers, uh, thank you very much and uh, some people don't know. They haven't been around as long and seen the kind of things that I've got. So uh, I do have the tutorial for this, of course. And then I have a tutorial with an SVG file. Uh, even if you don't do SVG files, this tutorial shows you how to make this, um, you know, if you don't have the ability to cut an SVG file, it's a little craft room organization thingy. Um, the actual steps to make it are on my channel. Uh, let's see, back three months ago, I'm looking at it right over here. So it's there, it's that part of it's free. It's just paying for the little SVG file to cut the box pieces. And of course, I have my monthly dashboards in there. Uh, it's a class. Basically, you buy the supplies and then you buy my tutorial to put it together. This is also Graphic 45 paper. Every month there's, you know, a little intro page to my actual memory keeping planner here. Beautiful. And so there's that class in my Etsy shop too. And uh, I don't have my actual date book planner, but those pages that have the days of the week and the lines and 
you know, you actually write your appointments, that's in my Etsy shop too. You just have to print them out. It's a digital download. Okay. Now, I do have a couple of things I'm not going to show you because I don't have them anymore uh, that are in my shop. So you just have to go check out my shop. Uh, this is a baby album. It's made with file folders, but if you're pretty handy, you could probably figure this out just with cardstock. Uh, this is a tutorial, again, step by step with color photos of every little step. Uh, but I'll give you a quick, quick flip through of this one. It's got little envelope side loaders. It's got little tag spots. It's got other little pullouts that have things in there for more photos. I've added lace to mine. Um, there's a pocket, a double pocket. It's a very sweet album, and I always do a little intro video to these types of projects. So just comb through my channel and check it out, and you'll get a longer, better walkthrough, and also all the supplies that you would need to make it, if I didn't also list that in my Etsy listing. So I'm going to hold on to this, because I have a daughter, and who knows, I may get lucky. And for the Halloween lovers, I do have a Halloween album. It's not so many. It's pretty big. It's about 7 by 9 ish uh, All the details are in my Etsy shop, of course. This is Graphic 45. I did this a couple years ago when I was still kind of doing things for them. It is also a file folder kind of album. There's some magnets involved here. Again, if you don't have the file folders, you could probably figure it out. A lot of people know how to do this on your envelope punch board, but just to get a quick spin through, there is all kinds of fun interaction on this one. And if you're really into Halloween, this is a super fun one. I love Halloween myself, so all kinds of great spaces for photos. This should be covered on the back. <laughs> I didn't do that. Nice little pocket. These have magnet flaps here. Really cute. Of course, you can't beat Graphic 45 paper for a lot of this stuff. This has a little secret uh, window here. And then a pulled big old tag out of this pocket. Really fun. Big photo mat. Nice photo mat here, here. More photos, and then another one of those magnetic pockets and a little journaling card to go in there. So that's listed as well as a tutorial. Okay, and this one's still in there too. It's a teeny little traveler's uh, notebook, like a passport size one. I'm in the midst of filling it. I'm almost, am I most of the way through? I'd say two thirds of the way through. I'm filling it with cruise photos from a cruise, a crafty cruise I did where I taught in, let's see, November? Yeah. So all the steps to make this one are in there as well. This is Graphic 45 paper too. It's a little bit older, but there's so many papers out there that you could use that are sort of nautical like this. And um, I just show you how to simply cut these pages, make these little vellum side-loading pocket pages uh, what else is in here? It's pretty simple. And then, of course, I've added the flip flaps. That's not part of the tutorial, but um, I have added those in myself because I just love using those. Okay, I think that's it for Etsy sharing. Like I said, there's more stuff in there, but I just don't have it anymore. Okay, so that's it today. Just wanted to show you. Sometimes people think like, oh, it's a tutorial for a baby album. I can't buy that because I don't need a baby album. Well, the, t the album itself is what the tutorial is really all about. And you can change up and use any papers that you like. That's the point. So I thank you for joining me. This was a short one today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will see you next week when we're going to make some paper flowers.